Hey guys, this is our study and welcome to Comic Space and some major revolution coming up right from the Disney's upfront presentation and we have tons of things to talk about. We have Daredevil Born again to talk about, we are going to talk about Agatha all along and yes, that is the final and the official title for the show and we are also going to talk about Ironheart as well. We don't have too much to go on on that front but again, lot to unpack, let's dive into it straight away. So let's just start with Agatha all along and again if you have been following our channel you know that that show have got me confused for the longest time and I think that show have went on to like four to five or maybe more titles changes than any show so again that is not the point so coming back to the presentation Marvel Studios president Ken Foggy was there who unveiled an official teaser footage for the Agatha all along and it is quite interesting one because again it was just available to all of the people who were actually present at the presentation all we have is in trailer description and we also have in trailer footage that we need to talk about for Daredevil Born Again as well so as the description goes the trailer opens with Agatha and she is not the witch as we saw her in the WandaVision as she seems like a detective who is struggling to solve a murder case and as of for the brief moment she glimpses over in list of names and this is where it kind of gets interesting it says death 13 october w maximov and we all know what that means we know what w maximov means and we know what actually happened we are going to get back to that point for sure but moving on in the trailer we get to see aubrey plaza's character as she is confronting agatha and saying is this how you see yourself the witch is gone and lifting you in a distorted spell claw your way out and Agatha responds to that with she took every bit of my power I can't be that witch again and then what follows is a total sequence of a lot of mixed clips and we get to see Agatha walking the witch's road and building her coven and then we get to see the entrance of Patty Louis Pwn character saying to Agatha what witch in her right mind will join Agatha Harkness's coven and the trailer closes up with Agatha saying I am not looking for right headed witches and that's a pretty freaking cool line to close the trailer so that is pretty much it and that is all we know about the trailer and again it was very exclusive for all of the people who were actual in the attendance for the presentation but for us it will be a quite well before we actually get to see an official teaser trailer for the show and the show is still quite far away it is coming in September 18 of this very year which is great on Disney Plus. So there are lots of things to talk about. So the first thing first and which is a quite a major thing and that is Witches Road gets officially confirmed which was originally supposed to be in special presentation but now it is been combined with the Agatha show and obviously Marvel Studios is reducing their output and making some major changes with the show. So the show primarily is going to feature Agatha leading to redemption and getting her status back as a witch. So. I think that is going to be the primary focus of the show and obviously we're going to have Witches Road which is a quite a major thing and, and that is where I also have kind of got my hopes up that we could be seen possibly Wanda Maximoff coming up R616 uh, Wanda Maximoff coming back especially if they were going to do Witches Road we haven't mentioned of Wanda but again it depends as of right now I think Marvel is just gonna let the things as it is and they're not going to do anything with Wanda for right now but I do believe with everything that Wanda is 100% going to be coming back as 616 Wanda and not just a variant leading up to Secret Wars. So alongside Agatha we are also going to see Aubrey Plaza's character Rio Vidal and again that is a very original character that Marvel Studios is introducing much like Kahuri that we saw in the What If series season 2 and she does not necessarily have any ties to the comics. So. Again, there's a lot of things Marvel Studios is going to do different and obviously they have to add their own twist to the story. Alongside excellent Captain Hunt, we are also going to see Joe Locke who has been highly rumored yet not confirmed to be playing Billy Kaplan. So again, we gotta see how the things are gonna go on that front as well. And as the Patty Lepone's character stands, she is supposed to be playing Lilia Caldru. And as of the character, she made her first debut in the Marvel's comic book premiere in 1973. Then we also got to see her in Doctor Strange Sorcerer Supreme 1989 issue and she was seeking Cagliostro in that issue and Cagliostro was taken by Mordo and there's a whole thing 
about that issue as well but and matter of fact she dies in that issue as well but she does indicate resurrect in the 2007 mystic arcane scarlet witch issue so we do have some really brilliant characters involved in the show and we are going to go full on with the show we are obviously going to see a lots of characters coming back a lots of witches coming back so as of right now and with all of the things that we know and the all of the trailer description that we have the agatha show is just looking an excellent show and also i am really happy that they finally have landed on the title and that is agatha all along because initially it was called agatha house of Harkness, then it was changed to agatha dark old ideas and then agatha cone of chaos and at one point it was even called agnes of westview which i did not understand anything about that and just recently we also had an official title duel by marvel which was later deleted by themselves also and it was called agatha the lying witch with a great wardrobe so again it is good to know the official title for the show because it has been a quite long time on the channel so coming back to the point let's talk about daredevil born again we got an official new look at daredevil born again and we also got an official new look at the daredevil born again logo as well which is very different from the one we saw last time at d23 expo on that front we don't have too much to talk about because again we just have tidbits of what was actually was shown and we have a lot more information about agatha than we do about bond again as the trailer description goes as we get to see matt murdoch suiting up in his daredevil suit with the narration going off in david versus Goliath situation where the whole system is against you and then we don't have too much to go on and as the trailer ends with an insanely cool shot that I can just only imagine with an one goon asking Matt Murdock what kind of lawyer are you and we get to see Matt putting on his broken glass because he probably have been involved in the fight with a smile he just says I'm a really good lawyer and again that is just a freaking cool line and both of the trailers just closes off with this very cool lines which is again great so again by the way, one of the major things that we need to talk about Daredevil Born Again, the trailer that was shown, it does looks to be carrying the same tonality from that Netflix Daredevil series as well, which is very important. Because unlike Deadpool and Wolverine and Blade, we don't know officially that Daredevil Born Again is actually going to be a rated R project. It probably will be in TV14, which is pretty much equivalent to PG-13. It probably will be in much darker gritty and everything that we have seen with Marvel Studios and I think the only kind of Disney Plus project in rated R Disney Plus project that we have got so far was the Echo series which was just excellent which does tell you that Marvel obviously can do rated R stuff but is it necessary I think with Deadpool and Wolverine you just kind of have to and of course with Blade as well especially if the script that they have come up with after a very long time to figuring out if it demands they're probably doing it but again i think one of the major thing here is that the tone of the show which is very quite necessary and to carry on from that netflix daredevil series which is quite an important and especially given the brutality of those characters and the, and also the way these characters are represented and perceived and what they stand for and you also have punisher in the series which is like and especially if you have seen that netflix punisher series that is just in totally different level but again the tone which is kind of important and especially the characters that are involved with with kingpin that you have with obviously daredevil and punisher so i think one of the great things about daredevil born again has been that marvel studios actually filmed a few episodes for the show and when they saw it it wasn't turning out to be what they expected so they actually revamped the whole show went back to zero and started again and even brought back some characters that were supposed to be killed off off screen with karen and foggy returning to the show as well so daredevil born again is supposed to be releasing sometime in march of 25 we don't have an exact release date and it will be releasing in nine episode so marvel studios is indeed cutting when it was officially announced to be 18 episodes a season that is not happening they are cutting 18 episode season into two parts part one or season one or whatever you want to call it but we are going to see nine episodes first and then later on the other half of the show so we also had a presentation for ironheart and we didn't have too much to go on and i don't think so and trailer footage was shown for the show they did indeed release the footage for the show 
couple years back and again from that point a lot of changes have happened the overhaul of that show has also happened much like with what happened with Daredevil Born Again it also tells you that Marvel Studios is indeed looking forward to a much more cleaner slicker and in quality slate moving forward and everything that I heard about all of this project just have got me more excited than I was before and again I'm really looking forward to Agatha and obviously it's Daredevil Born Again and Ironheart is going to be very interesting. Well that's it for this video guys but before you go you can consider to grab that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the latest Marvel or DC update. I'm so glad that you guys got the time to hear me out. Thanks for listening to me. This is your host Adi signing off. See you in the next one.